Hey guys, hello, good morning. Uh, it's actually more like lunchtime, but I didn't film this morning, so I'll start it off like that anyway. Um, as Tana, the big mouth, has already told you, uh, Mum and I have decided to do a liquid diet. Now, I purposely haven't mentioned anything about this on the vlog, not only because I haven't been on the vlog that much over the last couple of days, but because I just, yeah, I didn't want to make a big thing of it. Uh, because he's mentioned it, I will say that we're on day five. Um, it was originally going to be like, you know, the week that we returned, just to sort of, like he said, cleanse and, um just sort of i don't know we felt really bogged down and everything because of how much the like how large the portions of food were that we we're eating when we were away um yeah and when you're in hot weather like that it sort of doesn't feel really great to be overweight so um yeah we're on day five how are you traveling with it mum pretty good I'm yeah not difficult at all. yeah neither am i no i'm quite happy mm, i think mum and i are just both in the perfect mindset to be doing this and i suppose it helps too because we're not doing a traditional liquid diet we're not just like on broths and water and things like that we're having um a smoothie for breakfast with like uh banana yogurt milk ice uh strawberries things like that um and then we'll have a glass of water and a fruit juice um for lunch uh for lunch for morning tea and then for lunch we'll have one of these sort of soups that you can see they have like little bits of carrot and little bits of um peas and um potato and stuff like that so we're having chunky soups um and then for yeah afternoon tea we'll have a cut a really 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 finely diced kiwi fruit with a little bit of yogurt over it for example and um then for dinner we'll have another soup and after that, if we're still like feeling peckish or whatever, we'll have a, a fruit juice and maybe a small smoothie or whatever. And the good thing is, is that because mum and I are both doing it, um, everything that we make is just in half. So one of these, one of these soups, this is actually, that's actually half a portion. Like it um, comes in a foil pack and um, it's one serving. But yeah, mum and I just do half each so that it's a small mug each. And yeah, it's amazing. I feel really, really great. Like I'm not as um, bloated in my stomach. I don't feel as weighed down. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy to keep doing this for a couple more weeks. Uh, just to sort of shed, you know, 5 to 10 kilos just to get my, my winter fat off. And um, then start, you know, introducing things like carrot sticks and celery sticks with dip and things like that. Just um, slowly, slowly. But yeah, what about you, Mum? Well, I didn't realise how much weight I'd gained since I moved here. Mm. Um, you lost like, you'd gained like four kilos since moving here, yeah? Yeah. Um, and I know you always gain weight over the winter months and things like that, but it's not that. I hadn't watched what I was eating and things, so... And I think the trip away really made me realise that, yeah, get my button gear. By Christmas yeah. I could be, you know, svelte, dropped a couple of dress sizes. I'm a lot more comfortable in the Australian heat. So, yeah, yeah no, just time. Yeah. And I'm not, not tempted to snack or cheat or... Yeah, neither no, am I. I'm just in the right head, set, head mindset, whatever. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I knew that, um, that this was right for me because yesterday was day four and I was really hungry. Like I woke up hungry and that never happens to me. I'm, I'm a person who doesn't eat until lunchtime. Um, so yeah, I woke up hungry and all day I was sort of struggling. So I think I had, you know, an extra really finely cut up kiwi fruit and, uh, and an extra small bowl of yogurt um, than I did the, the previous three days. But I mean, I know definitely 100% that I'm not going to cheat and I'm not even tempted to cheat because mum bought Zsa, Zsa my absolute favourite thing in the whole wide world, which is Samboy barbecue crinkle cut chips. They are the greatest tasting thing ever. And I had to break them up so that Zsa, Zsa could eat them last night because some of them are really huge. And I wasn't even tempted to eat one. Or sneak one or whatever I mean yeah I was you know I, I, I put my face in the bag and I was smelling it and I was like oh I remember that but that's just the thing 
I've had all these years of eating whatever the hell that I want. So I think that I can handle a month of just sticking to basic fluids and like liquids. I think the other thing before everybody goes, oh, you shouldn't go on a liquid diet, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's not broth and water. Mum, I've already explained oh, it to that's them. All right. Yeah, we're still doing our yogurt and our milk and calcium intake and things like that. And, um, and I mean, look how many veggies are in that. Seriously. Yeah. And it's funny because, um, you know, I was talking to mum and doing this, I'm actually going to be eating healthier than <laughs> I've eaten in about five years because I'm not a veggie person. I'm not a fruit person. Um, that what I've been doing for like the last two years, if I wanted a snack at a beer, you know, a chocolate biscuit or a small pack of chips or, you know, a chocolate bar or, or this or that, this to me is like a complete turnaround. I'll be getting more vegetables, more fruit, more dairy, like good dairy because I'm lactose intolerant, um, than I have been for years so well, see now your snack is a kiwi fruit or an orange or a banana or whatever just cut up really it. really small yeah. yeah exactly so and my lunch is a hearty soup so yeah i think this is really one of the best decisions we've made for a long time and it's not a phase which is awesome it's a lot easier too when there's two people doing it yeah yeah. Um, yeah. If it was just me doing it, it'd be impossible because you guys would be sitting down eating, you well, know. you know when I cooked those um, hamburgers for Tanny yesterday? Yeah. Um, I wasn't, didn't, I mean, it wasn't like, oh, I don't want to, or, or, you know, cook this or, oh, God, I wish I could have one. It was yeah. just cooking food. So. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't then like. I, I burnt. But still, I cooked it and I didn't want it. No wonder she didn't want it because it was freaking burnt. <laughs> First day of spring, eh? <laughs> You know, I've been going on about the weather being, oh, it's so good, not a cloud in the sky, oh, it's very warm today over the last, like, three, four days. First day of spring, first day of September, the seasons have changed, winter is still clinging on. <laughs> as much as I love the cold weather, it's just weird that we haven't had rain in ages, and then suddenly, oh my god, it's been raining all day today. But yeah, so much for, so much for the, so much for the seasons changing, it just ain't happening. It just ain't happening. Wait a sec. Step one. What? Oh, she wants help. No. Oh, sharing. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. Go on. Try again. More? More. <coughs> More. God, what's that hair do? Yeah. She's going to need a haircut soon, surely. No, we're gonna have to just put some control on it. It's just because it's not your hands. Hey, no, 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 no! Look. Don't be cheatsy, doodle. You found such a good. That's it. There you go. Um. um. Shasha's turn. <coughs> Shasha's turn. Yeah, you're gonna put something on there. I'll get a haircut. Jesus Christ, that's just out of control. No, that's only because we washed it last night. She went to bed with the hair wet. Oh. Oh. Yay, lazy bum bum. Look, you must show you again. Eh? You stab mm. it. Oh, oh no. Nah. Egg's really not a great thing. Yeah, to it's not sitting here because the. Oh, there, oh, we, there go. we go. Um. Hey. Uh, um. Yeah. That's how we do it. Like a big girl. Uh, um. Oh, that's the bit. <laughs> <laughs> You guys like yogurt beasts or what? This Gippsland dairy yogurt. Getting a workout last few days. Oh, look in your fridge. Yeah. We're trying every flavor they make. They found this yogurt and they got it in like little single serve tubs. And it was so good that now they're getting the big tubs. And they're eating so much of it. And they like the tubs. <laughs> this is like a week, if that. There's four empty ones there and there's three on the bench that they're spooning from. What are you even, what are you, why are you keeping the tubs for? You're gonna contact the company and try and get sponsorship out of them. I want the, I want the yogurt. You want an IV drip yogurt? It's natural and yummy. It is quite a yummy. It is, <laughs> it is some of the best yogurt I've ever tasted. And it's just weird flavor mixtures. Yeah. Toffee honeycomb. Yeah. Watermelon and strawberry. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
uh, blackberry and pomegranate. Who ever heard of watermelon in a Mango yogurt? and blood orange. And raspberry coconut. I like the watermelon strawberry one, and the mango and the orange one isn't that bad as well. I'm not a big fan of the other ones though, that we've had so far. Yeah. Anyway, you guys are beasts. Beasts. There's grape. Mm. There's grape and something. Mm. And yeah. 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 Well, you, you handle that sponsorship. <laughs> oh, I will. Sure. You get on top of it. You want it? That's it. <laughs> I don't know whether you've ever noticed, but every night before I go to bed, I set the table. Uh, it's probably weird to some people, but um, I set it for breakfast. But um, I don't know, it's something that is from childhood. And now that we've got a dining room table again, I've just done it naturally. And it does, it's just, I don't know, it's, real, it's probably stupid, but it's a habit uh, from childhood. Anyway, so I have set the our two cut, this setting, this is our breakfast setting. This is Anastasia and me. We sit opposite each other and he's beepy. Right? Now these are teacups that I've had for a very long time. They're called eggshell glass because that's how fine they are. Managed to stay intact all this time through all the moves. And we have our cup of tea in the morning. So today I'll walk out and walking, uh, walking down here, glance down here, there's a teacup sitting on the floor. And I thought, okay, <laughs> but you know, there was nothing else disturbed, just a teacup on the floor. And I thought, oh, you automatically think, okay, Shasha did it, right? But she can't reach, she can't get on a chair. So how did she do it? And not pull all the other china down with her because they're all stuck on top of one another. So I meant to ask Anastasia about it and I just forgot. I thought she might have been, I don't know, Instagramming photo and left it down there or something. So I just put it back where it was meant to be and left it. Tonight, while I'm in her room and we're watching a movie, Zsa Zsa's meant to be in here watching Peppa Pig and it was just a little bit too quiet. So we came out here to check what was going on. She'd pulled this chair out, this huge high chair, right? We're sitting in it like a big girl playing with a bowl of sugar that used to sit there. She had sugar everywhere. So, not only can she pull the chair out, climb up on it herself, sit down properly without falling off the sides, she can then reach for what she wants on the table and sit there and play for it with it. So, another thing that I thought was out of her reach is no longer and I have to take my beloved china off the table because I know that she, because they're tiny teacups, they're going to think that she's going to think they're hers, and she's going to break them. And I've had them for a very long time, and they're made in like 1930, and I would be very upset <laughs> if one broke like that because I didn't take it off the table when I knew I should. So I'm just about to pack them up, so no teacups tomorrow for breakfast. Because yeah, look. And that's not the only chair she can now climb up in. Jaja! Yes, you! Oh, God. There's no safe place anymore, I'm telling you. I just, yeah. The only thing she can't do is climb up on my bed. Thank God. Because then she'd reach the side table. So, yep. She's getting to be a big girl. And more things are going to break.